Technological advancement is so fast that we are going to experience 100 years of innovation in 20 years or so. No wonder it's getting increasingly hard to keep up with our ever-changing world. Join us as we navigate through 20 emerging technologies that will change our world. Number 20. Digital Twins. What if you had a digital clone of yourself who was identical to you in every aspect? That clone would be rendered according to your presence in your workplace, household, college, and even the planet Earth. And the best part? Your digital doppelganger won't feel any pain, tiredness, or negative emotions. In fact, your twin will have access to big data and real-time changes in your surroundings. So, your twin will make almost accurate decisions. That too. Super fast and quick. This is the future of virtual reality. Digital twins are the replicas of a physical manifestation of an object or a person that can simulate a real-life scenario to reflect on results and outcomes. Such digital doppelgangers are linked to data sources from the environment as well as real-life events as they happen in real time. For instance, a digital twin of a person can run tests to see how an individual would make decisions during a zombie apocalypse. Or if we are sticking to something probable, perhaps a PR crisis at work. Digital twins of physical manifestations like highways can predict the traffic flow and can optimize route feasibility for traffic accordingly. Now, how cool is that? Number 19. Apple Vision Pro Apple's first 3D camera, Vision Pro, is changing how we relive our memories. Through the sophisticated VR set, users are able to take 3D images of their precious moments which they relive through the VR set. Plus, Apple Vision Pro is capable of running popular apps like Books, Contacts, Camera, FaceTime, Music, Safari, and more in a mixed reality. You can simultaneously live in a mix of augmented and virtual reality. No wonder the device is pretty expensive to buy. Number 18. Necrobotics. There's no doubt that technology is amazing, but at the same time, it can be pretty creepy. See it for yourself. Scientists are experimenting with something unthinkable. Believe it or not, running development projects are hoping to turn dead insects into robots. You heard that right. The current experiments are being done on spiders at Rice University. Scientists are injecting dead spiders with air to turn their limbs into a robot-like gripper or claw machine to pick up objects. Since spiders already use hydraulics to force blood or hemolymph into their arms or limbs, the effective but creepy methodology actually works. While primary tests are being conducted on spiders, there's a wider scope to necrobotics as well. The essential idea here is to use biotic materials or dead organisms as robotic components for various uses. Now, the scientific approach sounds dark or gruesome, but if you think about it, using dead organisms is a better ecological option than using metallic parts. As of today, the Rice University project is pretty new, but the product developers are hoping to make major strides in the near future. Number 17. E-skins. Missing the warmth of your best friend's hug, who lives oceans away? Well, scientists are hoping to solve this particular problem very soon. This technological project is called E-skins. Scientists have developed a wireless, soft, and skin-like machine that is capable of sensing the wearer's movements and bodily warmth to convert them into electrical signals. Those electrical signals are sent to another e-skin system via a Bluetooth device. In turn, those electric signals are turned into mechanical vibrations that mimic the warmth and movements of an actual hug. All you need to do is to connect your best friend's e-skin to your system, and voila, you can feel the warmth of your long-distance best friend's hug. That too, without splurging on plane tickets. Number 16. Accessible Internet there's no doubt that the Internet is everywhere, but you'll be shocked to know that one-third of the world's population is still largely unconnected and offline. More than 2.6 billion people on the planet don't have access to the Internet even in the year 2024. Companies like Google and Hiber are committed to change that. This might sound like a laughable idea, but Google is using helium balloons to deliver connectivity to the extreme locations of our planet. 
Areas that are pretty much inaccessible through water bodies or roads will find internet connection through helium balloons that'll float in Earth's lowest orbit. If that doesn't fascinate you enough, Hyber's network of shoebox-sized microsatellites might. These small but powerful satellites directly send a connectivity signal to modem devices when they fly over a remote area. As of now, Hyber satellites are making 16 rounds around the planet. In the future, the company aims to send more microsatellites to orbit to cover areas that aren't even mapped on Google yet. At the same time, Google is experimenting with the longevity of its helium balloons, too, which previously ran out of air within 365 days. Number 15. Self-Driving Cars So, where are the self-driving cars that were supposedly the future of mobility? Back in 2016, Tesla had created the most insane hype around autonomous vehicles. After some mild success stories and some controversial failures, the company has finally picked up the right approach to build its fully functional self-driving car. Instead of relying on tech-like sensors, Tesla's new prototypes are using cameras and artificial intelligence to interact with the surrounding vehicles, much like a human does. The approach to drive and detect traffic isn't only data-based, it has the full capacity to make decisions according to real-time visuals. In doing so, level 3 of self-driving autonomy would mean that the response time of the robot car has decreased monumentally too. It's true that Tesla is still leading the forefront of self-driving cars, but companies like Ford, Mercedes-Benz, and Pronto are following suit. Recent improvements in generative AI will give these companies a competitive edge, too. So, perhaps seeing self-driving cars on highways is only a matter of time. Number 14. Direct air capture. The accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is a bad idea. The heat-absorbing gas is single-handedly causing the problem of global warming, a phenomenon where the world's average temperature is rising. The results are catastrophic. Glaciers are melting, cities are flooded, and the planet's water supply is drying out. This is where direct air capture comes in. The tech of the future absorbs carbon dioxide from the air and stores it in deep geological caves, or combines it with hydrogen to make synthetic fuels. Either way, direct air capture is working its magic as of now. Since the technology is expensive and uses a lot of energy to operate, its mainstreaming is a work in progress. But once scientists are able to harness those problems, direct air capture can perform the same role as trees, absorbing carbon dioxide at greater levels. While trees are obviously irreplaceable, they still require a lot of land and water to grow. Direct air capture can't replace trees. It can act as an alternative mechanism that's faster and doesn't require a lot of land area. Number 13. 3D Eye Printed Tissue We all have seen wildly popular YouTube videos of engineering printing the most random stuff using 3D printers, including a slice of cake. But bioengineers are in a league of their own. Researchers and engineers at the National Eye Institute in America have successfully printed retinal tissues with the help of stem cells and 3D bioprinting. While the technology still has limitations in terms of curing most eye-related diseases, it has a very high potential to increase our understanding of the human eye and how it works. Yep, and that's only the beginning. Bioengineers are hoping to use the retinal tissue to develop treatments and possible drugs for conditions that affect people's vision. The biggest cause they seek to solve is age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, a condition that weakens vision in people with old age. This is why bioengineers created the retinal tissue that is found in the outer blood retina barrier, an area that is highly vulnerable to AMD. Researchers are hoping to study the progression of AMD via the retinal tissue and to develop treatments for the condition in a timely manner. Number 12. 5G Technology The tech sector began to experiment with the fifth generation of internet connectivity in 2019, and experts predict that we're going to see more of 5G in 2024 and beyond. So what is this coolest phenomenon that would revolutionize the digital sphere? Currently, the most widely available 4G connection gives you the internet or processing speed of 1 GBPs, 
While it is a lot and gets the job done, 5G has a theoretical peak speed of 20 GBPs. Yep, we're looking at businesses completing their operation within milliseconds, and the sharing of the data sphere is going to be at lightning speeds. The fifth generation of the Internet has a very low latency, too, which means that our digital experience is going to be super fast and efficient. We are looking at seamless video conferencing or video games that hardly lag because of the slow Internet. Tech experts believe that 5G would unlock the world of self-driving cars, too, because the super-fast Internet would increase the information sharing process between the vehicles. While 5G networks are in the pilot phase, they have the potential to become mainstream in the near future. Number 11. Exosuits in the Military Iron Man is long dead, but the legacy of his versatile suit is perhaps the future of our security. Here's the thing. Exosuits and exoskeletons do not only exist in video games and movies. Currently, scientists are experimenting with performance-enhancing detachable suits that will give average, mundane humans superpowers of some sort. Exosuits are computer-controlled devices that can improve and enhance a human's mobility, physical endurance, and overall capacity to tolerate physical turmoil or pain. Several suits also increase an individual's capacity to carry weight while counteracting overstress on the lower back and legs. So, are we looking at some hybrid model of Iron Man and the Hulk? Certainly. This technology is being tried and tested by the most powerful militaries in the world, including the United States of America. And nope, this isn't some theoretical project either. In 2022, the U.S. military released their first soft, lightweight, unpowered exosuit called the Solder Assistive Bionic Exosuit for Resupply. In short, the Saber Tech. The suit is designed to reduce lower back pain among soldiers who have to carry out hefty tasks in the fields, including carrying other human beings in conflict zones. Both cool and terrifying. Number 10. Xenotransplantation Xenotransplantation is a new scientific development that has the capacity to touch millions of lives. One of the biggest problems in the health sector is the barrier around organ transplantation. The need for organs supersedes the supply of donors. This is why scientists are regularly testing transplantation organs and tissues in humans from animal sources. Yep, in the future, Humans might have animal organs such as hearts and kidneys. The concept itself is very unsettling, but once you know that, on average, 17 people die waiting for an organ transplant in the U.S. only, you'll be inclined to change your mind. While xenotransplantation is still a risky terrain, the University of Alabama at Birmingham has made some decent strides in the field. A team of researchers and surgeons carried out a successful transplant of genetically modified pig kidneys into a brain-dead human being. After removing the native kidneys from the human, surgeons placed clinical-grade pig kidneys into the abdomen. According to the peer-reviewed research, organs were safely procured from a specialized pathogen-free facility. Shockingly, the human abdomen didn't reject the kidneys. In fact, the kidneys stayed viable for 77 hours during which doctors conducted important tests. If anything, xenotransplantation has a long way to go. But as scientists develop the field of genetic modification, xenotransplantation will catch up too. It's only a matter of time. Number 9. Sand-Powered Batteries In a technological wonder of its own kind, Finnish engineers have figured out a way to turn sand into a giant source of energy. According to the reports published by the manufacturers, Vata Jankowski, the sand becomes a battery after it is heated up to 600 C using electricity generated by wind turbines and solar panels in Finland. The renewable energy powers a resistance heater which heats up the air inside the sand. Inside the battery, this hot air is circulated by a fan around the sand through heat exchange pipes. Outwardly, the sand-powered battery is a 4 by 7 meter steel container with heaps and heaps of sand. The heat produced by the piled 100 tons of sand is a viable source of warmth during the cold weather. 
This sort of heating process is called resistive heating, and it's the future of our energy production practices. Number 8. The Natural Fuel What if you could tap into the air to extract fuels or other sources of energy? Nope, this isn't the sci-fi world, but a real-life project carried out by chemical engineers in Switzerland. The company has created a prototype that can produce hydrogen fuel from the moisture found in the air. The way this device works is scientifically remarkable, but at the same time, it's pretty simple. You see, the working principle of this prototype is inspired by leaves. The chemical engineers use semiconducting materials to give the prototype its capacity to extract energy from sunlight. The solar energy is then used to produce hydrogen gas from the moisture found in the atmosphere. In turn, the gas can be converted into clean, eco-friendly liquid fuels. Number 7. 3D Printed Cake There's a lot that ChatGPT can do, but it still can't make your food for you. However, soon enough, engineers might just change that for us as well. Coupled with generative AI, 3D printing and penetrative laser technology can cook our food for us too. In this scenario, Generative AI would be helpful in curating a set of instructions for the 3D printers, such as the list of ingredients and dietary restrictions, and food links and lasers would get the job done. And while this sounds like a fantasy, researchers at Columbia University School of Engineering have already created a 3D printing prototype that can make a seven-ingredient cheesecake. The entire process was fast and pretty sophisticated. The research didn't use any product alternatives, and the ingredients list contained Nutella, jam, peanut butter, and bananas. No idea what sort of cheesecake they were aiming to make, but overall, the interesting combination just might work. Researchers are hoping to make an autonomous cooking device that'll make personalized meals for each body type. From athletes to patients with strict dietary restrictions, anyone can take advantage of the 3D printing tech. Number six. AI image generation. You might have already experimented with Mid Journey and Doll E. It's fascinating how textual instruction can be transformed into a lovely image or video that speaks more than a thousand words. And if creating art is as easy as ABC, tweaking or editing, it is equally simple and convenient too. This is perhaps the pinnacle of generative AI in the year 2024. And startups like OpenAI have only just started. But of course, AI image generation isn't just about a kid experimenting with prompts to live their most fantastic and wildest imagination. The creative industry as a whole is about to reach a revolutionary age. Sure, you can still debate about the ethics of AI-generated art, but the reality is that more and more companies are changing the way we perceive art. Now, you might not need illustrators to create cartoon characters. Or filmmakers might not need heavy CGI and editing teams to create scenes from explosions or war zones. They can wait for generative AI to get even more sophisticated to bring their scripts to life. For a traditional artist, this might sound like bad news. But like another disruptive tech, AI image generation capacities are yet to get regulated and monitored. Number 5. De-extinction in 2003, researchers in Spain did something remarkable. They were able to successfully clone the first extinct animal, the Iberian Pyrenean ibex, by using DNA from the last living specimen that had passed away in 2000. While the project was mind-boggling and ambitious, it was a success for a few minutes. The clone was brought to life, but it died within mere seconds. Now, the researchers were somewhat skeptical of their theoretical grounding, but even then, they had initiated a scientific wonder, the process of de-extinction or resurrection biology. In this process, scientists reverse extinction in living organisms using the genes of closely related species. Companies like Colossal Biosciences are using the same tech to revive the dodo bird. This sort of cloning is expensive and has a lot of unethical grounds. Yet the scientists argue that such processes might become necessary in the future as we lose animal diversity to climate change and human greed. Number 4. Super-efficient solar cells Typically, an average solar cell can convert 15-20% to 20 of the sun's energy it receives into electricity. 
While solar panels are a game changer during the global energy crisis, they still have a long way to go. But startups like Oxford PV are already creating fruitful disruptions. You see, the company has now made the most efficient solar panel ever. And nope, that isn't some marketing gimmick. Multiple tests and experiments have shown that the solar cell can convert more than 25% of the sun's energy it receives into electricity. That's an increase of 5% in productivity as compared to the industry average. How cool is that? Oxford PV uses perovskite, a calcium-titanium oxide mineral that is more efficient at absorbing sunlight than average crystalline silicon that mainstream companies use. By the looks of it, we're at the crux of a solar revolution. Number 3. ChatGPT5 It's true that OpenAI has been super vague and ambiguous about what's next for GPT-4, but industry experts have already placed their bets on the groundbreaking nature of GPT-4's successor, GPT-5. The plans for the next iteration of generative AI are under wraps, but it is said that it is going to be the biggest LLM we have ever seen. That, too, with a parameter size of 1.5 trillion. Plus, GPT-5 would enhance GPT-4 multimodal capabilities to interact with every sphere of our life, from carrying out business operations and conducting complex data analysis to predicting weather patterns, it will be able to do it all. If that's not enough, GPT-5 won't be your typical chatbot either. OpenAI aims to make their product a free agent of sorts that would act like a virtual assistant to you in your daily or professional life. And it might not need any human oversight at all. The company will most likely improve on GPT-4's third-party integration capacities too. We have already seen apps and online shops using GPT as their automated chatbot that can answer your queries in a second. But the future is even more sophisticated. For instance, a GPT-5 powered shopping app might do your grocery shopping for you according to your preferences and dietary restrictions. It'll learn your likes, dislikes, and shopping patterns all by itself. Number two, metaverse. Thanks to Mark Zuckerberg, the word metaverse is more mainstream than ever. But as of now, it is just not a company's branding or a buzzword. It is the future of all industries alike. By creating a unique hybrid sphere of augmented and virtual reality, the metaverse strives to achieve hyperconnectivity of some sort. From your room, you can submerge in a uniquely digital interface that would allow you to transcend boundaries. Yep, we are talking about taking a trip to the Bahamas from your bedroom or testing out your favorite makeup products before you splurge on them. Number 1. Green Funerals Environmentally sensible people are increasingly opting for a greener, eco-friendly afterlife. Ecologists are bringing our attention to another pressing issue, how carbon-heavy a typical burial process is. If an individual's body is cremated, on average, 400 kilograms of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. This is why people are choosing to become human compost, a process that is legal in certain states of America, including New York and Washington. In a typical green funeral, the dead person is dressed in non-toxic and biodegradable material, such as a 100% cotton shroud, and lowered into a plain pine box. Certain people opt to become a tree by having a tree planted over their grave. Companies like Recompose shroud you in biodegradable materials that take 30 days to reduce your body to fertilized soil that can be used in a garden or woodland. While the process sounds a bit sketchy and unsettling, more and more people are taking services from Recompose. Another company, Coeo, created a bespoke mushroom suit for the dead that helps in the decomposition of the body and neutralizes the toxins produced in the decaying process. It was the actor Luke Perry who famously took Coeo's services back in 2019. You might have noticed that both Recompose and Coeo are using very typical methods of decomposing. But it's also true that startups like these experience social taboos from skeptics. Despite such hurdles, green funerals are an increasing trend that aims to make one's passing a kind gesture for the planet Earth. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.